I hope, in probably 10, 15 seconds. Okay. So, okay, I also need to do something more as well. Here was this and mute the stream. It's already muted, that's okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, from my side, I don't know uh, how many uh, players uh, you were. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> you want more? Obviously. No, I don't know. No, I, I, I really. I don't know, you know, not not prop, not necessarily. I have no idea. Okay, whenever you're ready, uh, we can start. Yeah, let's start. Yeah, like. Uh huh. Okay, and I hope. Yeah, I think the 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 time controls will be okay. And let's see. Here. But you didn't start yet, yeah? No, no, I couldn't. How should I start? What do I do to start? Just push start. start. I have to press the start button. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I came at some third game in okay. front of me. I play the move. Yeah, D4. Uh, should I, there is an auto switch. Should I uh, make it? If you want. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for the auto switch. Wait, the guy. You know? How yeah. can you play here? Ah, you're playing Queen's Gambit, so is, this is gonna yeah. be the Harmon thing. No, I'm just kidding, you know. No, I am that Harmon myself. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I wanna play against something against Buiko or whatever, and you play the white pieces, it is your turn, but doesn't accept my move. Uh huh. Take it back. What's okay, this? I am not, I am. From Bosnia. Why should I think uh, I should uh, take this auto switch back? You know, I I, I have bad uh, smell mm -hmm. about this auto switch. So how do I switch into another board now? Um, you you may have uh, even uh, that button that says uh, you may do do it automatically. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay, there are boards downstairs. <laughs> uh -huh. Down down there, yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, but now it's it's a it's a mess, you know. To you're in a game. I have to play something against Tony. You are doing. And just I have to play something you... against MFO. I have to play Narzo. Narzo is our guy. Mariola. D four, D four. Something with Narcis. No, I cannot move on this board. I have to put Narcis bigger, closer. Okay, D4. Well, yeah, I just have to switch some other boards and some other openings. Yes, Nemonia. Nemonia is the is our friend from Kragujevac, no? Yeah, either Nish or Kragujevac. Nemanja Ugdjesic, yes. Yeah, yeah, he is from Kragujevac. Okay. Um... Okay, maybe. Well, I see that I did, for instance, against Muya. I didn't play any moves. Okay, now I, I did uh, some Turkish guy, and this is I am not I am. Okay, so I'm uh, so somebody played the Albin. You know the first name of Albin? No, yeah, Adolf Adolf Albin. I didn't know, that. yes, and he's a Romanian player. It seems uh, all the famous guys uh, have that name. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, I mean, I don't know if uh, having, uh, you know, German origin and the name helped Albin. Obviously, in his time, it helped more, but uh, he's a Romanian guy. Okay. I, I love when they play Albin Counter Gambit. I, I always play D4 as well. Uh, also, first move, yeah. The, the, D4, and time. I love when they go D5. I said, okay, now you're in my territory. Also, I love when the people play Grunfeld against me. I drew a game against the GM from Romania with that. I have, Which one? 
Uh, Ioan, uh, no, uh, Christian uh, Chirila. I didn't oh, like Chirila from yeah. the guy who lives in. Uh, yeah, he studies in uh, United States. I mean, look, he will be yeah. retired. Yeah, he, he cannot continue with his studies. He is quite uh, old, mm -hmm. and uh, he's. Uh, I have a. Mm -hmm. He's teaching uh, in a university. There's a chess university where Grigory Oparing and Christopher Repka, both GMs, are his students in the Mizu. It's called the Mizu in Missouri, the, the university. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a chess program for them. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, they all go with the chess program and uh, they do something like they study that. <laughs> you know? so you're but the best thing was uh, their predecessors were... Uh, Wojtkiewicz and Elvest. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were the first uh, people uh, to go there in a late age uh, by, uh, you know, uh, how you say this, uh, chess students, whatever, they were part of a program. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite uh, in interested in what uh, Dogu Kan Gureke is playing. This is so, some sort of old Indian. Or Queen's Indian? I have to, first of all, uh, see his board. <laughs> to, okay, uh, where is his board? I don't know. Where, but there is Matt Gureke and the other one is another Gureke. Do, yeah? Dogu can Gureke. I don't know how... Yeah, to, but I don't see him somehow. That's he is, a, I'll tell you where it is. He is in the second row, uh, right. I am not I am. Laza Babic, Kraspai, Chakan. No, no, I'm uh, from the top. Uh, the second uh, line from the top. Uh, uh, but I am not, I am appears there for me. Uh huh, okay. Maybe it's right. different. Okay. different Maybe it's uh, some of them is like slots, you know, it comes and it goes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I have to. Okay. Work. Wow. Somebody uh, gave you a check, okay. Yeah, he really checked me. You you have to punish he, this guy. Yeah. Why did he give a check? How did does he dare? Narciss from, <laughs> Narciss from Zimbabwe. He's very, very narcissistic <laughs> tendencies to yeah. give a check. Yeah. It, it's completely legal to give a check to a, to a grandmaster. So these uh, years in Zimbabwe, but uh, if we go back in time, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Know, in the times of Idi Amin, not exactly from yeah. Zimbabwe. <laughs> He might be eaten. Yeah, by lions <laughs> in the public square. No, by Idi Amin himself. You know why? Why to why to waste food? Uh, yeah. Interestingly enough, all those guys Idi Amin profile uh, play chess. I guess so. I don't know. I I have to. I have bad news, Andrea. Idi Amin was illiterate. Uh, although he was a uh, army general, I am afraid he was illiterate. Oh. So he couldn't keep. Uh, Really? You couldn't keep the score sheet like uh, from this uh, serial. Ah, Do Doku Khan uh, really appeared, the guy with the Queen's Indian, yeah? Yeah, Queen's Indian. And uh, Kraspa, he plays your favorite line uh, as uh, as black uh, against D4. You're playing Nimtsu Indian. If I'm if I saw enough no, of you I again. played many things. I can obviously play that one also. But uh, no, I, I, I mean... Uh, I was considered to be an opening expert, especially after Lambitol died, uh, you know. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, I did play a lot of things. And uh, I mean, Queen's, uh, I'm sorry, Nimzo Indian obviously is a, is a very serious opening, just like any other. Uh, and it was uh, shown in uh, World Championship matches, very critical games, we know, with that. With that. Yeah, you know, like uh, for instance, uh, when Fisher has beaten Spassky and also he sacrificed on H2 and he lost that game, it was both uh, Nimzo, yeah, but from Nimzo to Bonzo with the opening, you know, you you really from Nimzo to <laughs> Bonglaut, <laughs> well, well, yeah, I, I, I saw this uh, this bone cloud. What is this? F3, King F2? Yeah, I don't know. You, you don't castle, you just uh, open your king and then you run with your king. And, uh, you know, that's uh, Nakamura likes to play that uh, in his spin runs. 
I think he got to 2800 and Chelsea has come with like like that. Yeah, wow. Well, he so did you did you saw that game uh, Fisher's game uh, online with the, that? No, no. Look, there is no Fisher's game online. Obviously, it was not Fisher. <laughs> it was not. It was not Fisher. Yeah. No, no, no. Definitely. Then, no, no. Look, no, I will no. tell you the reality uh, behind that, uh, because uh, the thing is like. Uh, Actually, uh, the person who really claimed it was Fisher, it was Fisher. It was uh, Nigel Short. Oh. And those days, I was in Nigel's place because I was uh, Nigel's second in uh, many tournaments. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, I mean, he's my best man in the marriage. You know? uh, and uh, I was in uh, his uh, place in uh, Greece. When uh, he told me that uh, he might have played with uh, uh, Fisher online, but it really sounded a little bit uh, Perfect. awkward, awkward, you know, unexpected. I mean, because uh, Fisher's, uh, I mean, computer abilities, let's say like uh, mouse, whatever, uh, it doesn't really fit the picture. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, that game, yeah. King F7, King E6, King... Yeah, well, I don't know the games in particular, but also Fisher was the guy who was really serious with chess. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He would never have done uh, such a thing, you know. He would agree, uh, Also, he did not like to humiliate, like, uh, or if it is a humiliation like this guy Nakamura, whatever, you know, he... A little bit suspicious. Or, no, yeah, well, the, the, the reality at that time, uh, they never uh, made it public. I think I sh they should have. At that time, you know, uh, my other best man, uh, Mr. Shabalo, from Pittsburgh. Oh, Shabalo yeah. is uh, your, your best man. Yeah, one best man of mine is Nigel Short. The other one is uh, Shabalo. For he was the photographer. I mean, that was a messy night. I don't uh, <laughs> remember. Famous but Nigel, <laughs> for sure, is the best man. Famous you know. Shaba, the attacker. Yeah, so the... And uh, he was studying for a while uh, computer science, and he knew some people from the, you know, university. I don't know if it was in P Pittsburgh or in a neighboring city he was studying, but there was a program. So these people, they tried the program, but uh, whoever was sitting behind the uh, computer and talking with Nigel, he had some knowledge about chess, or he had a very easily accessible, uh, uh, you know, something like Wikipedia, which was not uh, on at the time, but they had some library about chess. So now the critical question came when uh, Nigel wanted to check if it was Fisher. He said, like, uh, just let me ask you a question. Uh, who were the Mexican player you, you won in uh, whatever, you know, Olympia? And when he asked this question to me, just like being one of the guys, uh, there are many, you know, from grandmaster level, uh, studying all the games of Fisher, it is not so difficult because 750 or whatever is the number. I immediately said Acevedo. And Nigel already said, like, oh, yeah, well, you know, uh, it was my uh, pivoting point that, uh, that the guy uh, knew it. But now you tell it, if you say this, well, also somebody else could tell it, yeah? There is nothing so particularly difficult about it. And... Uh, I seriously assume, uh, you know, whoever did it, uh, just like, or whoever, whoever they did it for ethical reasons, that they used the name of Fisher, they could never, you know, tell it. Yeah, yeah. But this is the story, because uh, I could tell you, another uh, good friend of mine, uh, he was uh, also very good friends with Fisher. When the guy was there uh, in Iceland, his name is 
uh, Helgi Olafsson, not Friedrich, but uh, the younger and uh, stronger in the last period, uh, you know, he, he happened to tell me many stories about Fisher, you know, but he had also some problems with Fisher. <laughs> but he was the only chess player Who that uh, Fisher was meeting. Uh, you know, uh, Fisher didn't have any interest uh, even to play uh, normal chess, but uh, he liked this, uh, whatever they call it now, this uh, chess... Uh, you know, uh, 960. 960, uh, yeah. Yeah, this crazy game. Uh, and I mean, uh, I don't know. He, he even has written something recently about uh, his experience with Fisher. But, uh, you know, uh, he, he never mentioned that Fisher was telling, like, okay, let's play chess, whatever. Let me play F3, King F2 against you. I will beat you. It never happened. Fisher was not like this. He could criticize someone. Uh, he could be very imposing, actually. But uh, many things uh, people say about Fisher is I just... Uh, are not true. They are not true. And also, I happen to know a couple of best friends of Fisher. And they were my friends also. Some of them are publicly known, like Quinteros or Torre, you know. Or, and some of them, like Steve Brandwine, uh, the name uh, really uh, appeals something for more for American uh, chess players and American people. Yeah, yeah, you go on with that night. <laughs> so, you, know. you, you will eat the king in the end. Yeah. Which which game? I was just watching the, one of the games, and I was thinking what idea could be. I, you know, I was listening to you, and I was thinking what <laughs> would I do if I was in you your place. <laughs> and uh, okay. Andro spotted what I was doing. No, yeah. if you switch the places, uh, I'm sure that both chess wise and computer wise, you would do yeah. better because so, about whatever I am doing here in some of the boards. I think I advanced too much. <laughs> yeah, so, this is the guys. this is the game with uh, and you actually played what I said, a game with Narcis Triple uh, X from Zimbabwe. Well, Narcis ticks me off by the name. I am not so much against the glorious people of Zimbabwe, but uh, <laughs> so, so guys, uh... or Rwanda, like it was in time. Yeah, yeah. Rwanda is Zimbabwe, no. Um, not... Okay, dear friends. Yeah. So uh, right now I'm just bothering you for for nothing. No, no, and, it was uh, uh, no, no, just uh, enjoy yourself. I will go now. I wish you all the best with your Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Else. Thank really... you so much for both of you for this event. So no, it was a great idea, definitely. See you, see you soon and sure. enjoy yourself. I will certainly do that. And bye bye. <laughs> thank okay. you. Bye, Andrew. By Andre. So I, I, I mean, uh, the level of opening knowledge uh, of some of our friends, some of our friends, you know, uh, uh, really indicates uh, the foul uh, the play. <laughs> the foul play. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know about their chest level or whatever, you know, but uh, Matrix is activated. I mean, I'm playing. For instance, some 1662 Turkish guy, he plays like carp of plate against Barev back in time. And uh, I don't know why he is 1660, whatever, you know. Uh, you I'm very know. happy with our friend from uh, Zimbabwe, Rwanda. Abdenur Jama is this guy, is, is, is this guy from Zimbabwe, or Narcissus, no, Narcissus. Yeah. Abdenur Jama is a guy from Tunis, Tunis from Algeria, actually, I'm sorry. I have some Algerian blood, by the way. Oh, really? You didn't see my uh, grandmother. She was all black. Oh, I, I don't... mean, she was an Arab. I, I don't know if it's a black, black or uh, Arab, black. Well, Algeria is uh, Africa, so part of so my, probably you have some African blood as well. So you might be I, I, a cousin of Idi Amin. You, know, you never know. You, you know, know the the problem. The, these guys. Uh, my relatives from that part of the family, they became Dutch. And sometimes I am making jokes with uh, Van Wele, who, uh, who is uh, a parliament member 
you know it, yeah? Uh, in Netherlands. But for the most uh, right-wing party. <laughs> oh, and he's against foreigners, probably, I guess. <laughs> uh, not exactly. I think he's against uh, some chess player foreigners, you know? <laughs> oh, like By the way, Narcisovic already. I think Giri, I maybe. wondered against Narcisovic. Narcisovic, I, let me go back to the game. So, even though like, Am I the problem lost against Narcisovic, you could be. Uh, it looks that you, yeah. Now you have to. You cannot I take. I total lost against Narcisovic. No, no Narcis. No. I. Wow. What the heck. <laughs> <laughs> he he's going very strong against you here. As as I after all, he's a narcissist. You know, we appreciate narcissists, but uh, we may he's have a very to confident. Out of the cyber. <laughs> yeah, he's very confident in his. Uh, Let's yeah. wait till he dies, watching his own image. You know, in in the lake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's um, how do you, uh, I don't know how you uh, say that in in uh, German. I forget. I I read. Uh, the play, uh, the 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 story, or how no, novel by uh, Thomas Mann, one of my favorite uh, yeah. writers. Uh, how do you say, Narciss and uh, how you call it, uh, Golden Word? How do you say the the sweet talker? Uh, in uh, in, put it, uh, in in, Ser- in Serbian, it, it's uh, literally you say, um, uh, Golden Mouth, like somebody who's sweet talking. I'm getting guessing in English it's sweet talker or something. Uh-huh. The the play. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I uh, I mean Thomas Mann obviously I by the way, Narcissus play is very strong and very fast. Come on, Narcissus, you know. Maybe I should stop all the cyber like concentrate on Narcissus. Try yeah. to <laughs> try to try to score our against our Narcissus player. <laughs> No, some of them like Laza Babic, you know, plays uh, very normal. And okay, Buika, Buika, I played him with tournaments. You know, he's just a serious yeah, but, guy. Yeah, but you 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 have many guys here who are over two thousand, so he's twenty four uh, twenty one forty in uh, B- blitz and twenty thirty in bullet, and he's only you know he never played the 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 rapid game so. There, there's a lot. Oh, of... no, I mean, Buika, I know it from uh, yeah. from the Steam tournaments. I don't know if he plays for Andro or Steam. I think uh, for Andro. Sam goes uh, for I am not, I am the guy, you know, and Sergey. Um... So, yeah, so I mean, uh, some of the names really. Sergey Montenegro, Mene, Mene, Mene. You know who is living in Montenegro, by the way? Geller's son. Geller's son? I yes, uh, he's a chess player. You, you can see my my level. cat. My cat joined the stream now. Katusha. Yeah, Katusha. We we will call her Bet Harmon from now on. She'll be known. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am Bet Harmon. You know, really, uh, number one uh, uh, cinema critic of uh, Turkey. Uh, I happen to know him uh, from my school, and he was a. I mean, he was playing chess uh, in uh, scholastic competitions and stuff. Very, very decent uh, guy. And he called me uh, sometime, but uh, we couldn't uh, actually talk. But on the gut, I lost uh, to this guy completely, you know, Narcissus. I lost even a piece. Come on, Narcissus. Should I resign and uh, get the... Come on, I I resign, Narcissus. Narcissus, (laughs) yours. I couldn't stand this guy. Yeah, uh, you found some very good moves here. You no, know, I just blundered, but also you know his uh, handle of the handling of the opening, you know, it was uh, beyond his uh, level. <laughs> no, twenty uh, one fifty in uh, blitz, twenty one uh, six fifty in uh, rapid and uh, bullet, and this is suggest uh, like something not exactly right if he's. Also, but his bullet rating is also high. No, it's some guy, you know, he had nothing to do. Once, uh, you know, uh, Ivan Sokolov told me that he gave a Simon somewhere and comes and sits some guy who doesn't play anymore. His name is uh, Krivoboda and he's a grandmaster. Hmm. 
like, you like what what are you doing here <laughs> yeah well i mean it's uh it really didn't fit uh perfectly into the job you know uh also, I, I, I enjoy it. Thanks, me. I don't know what I should write him, you know. Uh, well, I, I will keep Narciss in this world. He's too strong for this thing. There is no need to, for Narciss to play with me. He, he, he has to go and bet Harmon. Yeah. <laughs> bet Harmon himself. Okay. So, another guy who plays a lot to D4 is even Sokolov. I, I, I'll watch. I think I. I was looking for something. I, I'm uh, I played D4 for a long time, but I have no idea how to play against uh, uh, King's India defense. So I was looking the videos online of uh, I didn't know who even Sokolov was until very recently. I'm all new in this uh, chess world, and I only recently uh, got acquainted with all these people, also from Serbia and from Bosnians as well. I didn't know. I thought uh, even Sokol Sokolov was Russian. I didn't know that he was Bosnian <laughs> because the game was. Uh, I know the Yubovic saw, but even Sok Sokolov, he could be Russian, could be uh, Serbian, Bosnian. Yeah, whatever. Wanya, Wanya Sokolov. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's Sokolov's name, like Sokolov uh, last name in Russia as well. Anyways, I I was I found this video by uh, Simon Williams, and mm -hmm. then I saw how he handled uh, Jordan Van Forest. Uh, mm -hmm. In some uh, bishop e two, bishop e three, they had almost uh, something looking like a thematic match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I think that was some kind of a Dutch uh, com uh, championship. Also. No, I think they had a match. Yeah, they had a they had a, some sort of a, a private uh, match, you know. And uh, I think the first uh, there used to be. I played that uh, in some place. Uh, um, uh, we have. Second. We have a national have master, this. yeah. Um, we have a national yeah. master, uh, Caden Young uh, from United States. The chat, hi, Caden, how are you doing? And he uh, is playing against Title the Arena uh, today on Aliches. No, or he's not. Um, he, um, so I'm watching your game against uh, um, Perz Gureke. Another yeah, yeah, I'm also there. Yeah, uh... yeah, I think this is heavily theoretical. You know, look, for instance, uh, even for a 2200 uh, here guy, it's very difficult to come into this position, you know. But he's 2300, yeah, 2330, 2200 bullets. No, but even even for this, I mean, 2200 uh, here, it's just, uh, I never heard his name from, uh, you know, the real uh, chess circles. He it says, implies like uh, he can be a kid, he can be someone uh, showing uh, some interest to chess, but to well, play that theoretical. Okay, so I, I went to his profile, and uh -huh. he says he is, uh, I don't know how you uh, pronounce it, there's a new, uh, like in German, uh, umlaut, Zuheir uh, Mert, you know. Yeah, uh, it's a U, in Turkish it's a U. Zuheir, uh, Zuheir, I don't know how you say Something like, yeah, yeah well, Mert I mean, Gurek, Gurek, Gurek. Gurek now, yeah, yeah. now I, 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 you know, guessed it properly and pronounced it properly. So he, it says here on his profile that his feeder rating is 1477. So that's, yeah, 1477 that's... is a beginner, you know, like uh, good or bad. Uh, you know, it's just like when we play many of these things. Okay, Narcissus, uh, Narcissus may turn out to be uh, also. Not, not a bad player, you know, in uh, real life. Uh, you may never be... But Mergurek is sure. now very suspicious, considering his feeder rating. Yeah. Quite, not quite. only him, but the other one just playing like Karpov, you know, and then now he gave up playing like Karpov. You know, it's really... It's not only that, it's just a little bit uh, strange, you know, to to have yeah. such a theoretical duel. Especially when one side like me, who just I, I really don't remember. If even if I don't remember, it's just dragging himself towards these moves. Uh, you know, it's uh, almost impossible on uh, his level. Fourteen hundred feet. Yeah. I mean, but whatever. Okay, we will have fun. You know, it's not like uh, for the result or whatever. 
I remember like, I don't know who was the guy, but somebody serious uh, had to run away from the uh, bathroom or toilet. Uh, okay, and also, yeah. also our friend uh, Andrew came to the chat and uh, yeah. and Caden was uh, commenting also how how wow 1400 feet and all 16 moves of theory and he keeps uh, <laughs> leaving the game and he keeps leaving the game so he goes out of the game and he comes back to game so uh, so uh, instead of me uh, trying to bail out from the toilet uh, window uh, he's <laughs> he's making some attempts like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde you know yeah, at something. least Arsisa, but it's very short and clean, you know, and uh, I, I resigned and I just, uh, <laughs> and everybody was happy, me and Narciso and yeah. <laughs> everyone. My, my, cap, my cat is not happy, she's also murmuring, rum, 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 rum. she doesn't like that also, she doesn't like cheaters. When you cheat, when you hear murmur, murmur, that means somebody is cheating there. She <laughs> also com- doing something wrong in the house, yeah. Yeah, she's not happy. We need to keep her happy. Okay. Uh, last. Okay, for instance, Laza, yeah, our friend uh, Laza Babic. Uh, I know some Babiches from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Bosnia. Okay, he plays like, okay, he has a normal position. I don't know if D5 will fall or what, you know, but there is not uh, anything artificial there, you know, it's just a game. Oh. I may be better or uh, he may have an equal position, but uh, he doesn't pull out uh, yeah. this kind of uh, funny uh, too many theoretical Wow, moves. I, I don't think I, I would have done what he did now. So let's see. He's we trying to see. bring another uh, rook uh, probably to d8. So he has one, two, three, four, five uh, defenders over d5. This is an interesting game. I played queen a8, which is a surprising move, yeah. But okay, it's a logical move because uh, he wants to protect it uh, by the moment. This is an interesting move. By says... the. And uh, Caden says in the chat, yes, I agree, but might be some internet issue. I don't really know, but I will give benefit of the doubt. Uh, <laughs> and we say, uh, Narcissus is in the chess. Narcissus says, thanks to you for the kind world, uh, words, uh, GM Metallic. No, look, he, he, okay, he is some guy who knows it, it may be, because I played uh, really bad, it may be, but you know, it's not like blindfold the cruising, uh, you know, with some uh, strange uh, theoretical moves. Uh, I mean, uh, I obviously blundered uh, many things in that game, but okay, it's not uh, it's not artificial, you know. Uh, it's just the worst thing in such cases, something artificial is going on. For instance, this is really artificial. I mean, uh, whatever, fourteen hundred feet a person, uh, a player, you know, goes. Uh, into the realms of, uh, yeah, you know, the, theory yeah. that, uh, I don't know, Karpov took King E7. How do you know it? You know, like how, how many people play in this, uh, I mean, how many games this kid, whatever, played in the screens? Are you and... talking about uh, Dogukan uh, Gureki? Yeah. Yeah, one of these uh, two brothers or people, you know. Uh, I mean, it's really heavily theoretical. And, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I have to get my cat because she's. I'd rather yeah. have her around me than to okay, be hello. away from me and then uh, quetching around the house, you know, complaining that I don't give her attention. Let her okay. sit next. Uh, Where are you at? The game with Sergey. Okay, Sergey. No, Sergey a... played. Uh, okay, some. Uh... Uh, Volga Gambit, yeah, he played that against me a couple of times. I think I have uh, uh, uh-huh. zero two score against him. I didn't know how to play against it. Usually, I have good lines, but uh, in you, uh, yeah, but no, but here the, the point is that uh, okay, he played it in an interesting way, but uh, in a in a way, still going uh, 
uh, you know, normal for uh, whatever we call, uh, there is nothing uh, crazy theoretical or stuff. And okay, I think in that game, I will win a, I will keep the pawn I have won. But uh, okay, nothing is clear. You know, it's a typical compensation uh, uh, type of position. You know, and uh, hey, this guy. And uh, Hayden says there maybe his Turkish rating is like 2000 because he doesn't play many federated events. But I will stop talking about it. That's what Hayden says. <laughs> No, the main point is, uh, well, I, I don't know about Turkish ratings. Uh, you know, I, I and, just uh, uh -huh. pre uh, MK six 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 says um, 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 he's suggesting the move, and I shouldn't uh, say the move. I don't want to say it because we shouldn't suggest moves in our chat. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank Not you. Not even for... to break a cyborg. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Not a single move to these people. <laughs> I, I'll, okay. I'll I'll show on the board what he was uh, suggesting, but in my that will be seen in my chat, my Zoom okay. uh, stream. Um, um, no conspiracy theory from our our part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we should not lead. Uh, so now you're in game against Mariola. No, no, I mean, uh, Sergey's game, wow. and that's what I was exactly telling. You know, I, I got, I kept the pawn, um, and this usually when, uh, okay, this is something at least interesting for, uh, for the real sake of chess. I succeeded to keep the pawn. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah. And he has this bishop. He has this uh, Pianchetto bishop. You know, uh, and White doesn't lose uh, some material in such a position. But it means like there is no, no serious break, you know, and uh, and then it may be, uh, you know, from the point of uh, view of this uh, Volga Gambit, uh, White uh, might have done something uh, normal so far. It's not really good news for Black if he doesn't have any break. Yeah, those two pawns can keep uh, up the board and create some uh, problems for Black. So again, Mariola is a, a guy from Bosnia. I played very few moves against our friend Mariola, you know. Mariola is 2300 in bullet and 2156 in blitz. Well, Mariola, I played, look, some of these guys I played in, uh, you know, summer. Mariola 12, I played two games. You know, it's not like we dated each other on the internet to play these games and somehow we played in some tournament. Oh, uh, Pre-MK, uh, uh, it's okay. You can uh, uh, share your ideas in the chat. The problem is for me, I cannot say it uh, in the call because if I may be like uh, um, uh, covering a, a simul uh, by uh, GM Suat Atalik and he's not in the call because if I say the move, I, uh, you know, it's not. It's I. I cannot say it. Uh, I cannot so say it. Say it probably. I can see it, but I cannot uh, comment <laughs> upon it uh, in uh, in in the stream. Um, I am trying always uh, to be uh, correct on that end, also because I also stream uh, Bundesliga, and sometimes the players are uh, in Zoom call with me, like Mirkovic or Ristic or. Um, other players like uh, Stefan Mladenovic and I cannot uh, cannot say a word or suggest a move, and that would be problematic from a fair pay, play point point of view. Not that I'm a better player than uh, Stuart Atalik. I'm just saying that in principle uh, I I don't do that. So that you know, even you can suggest it, but I cannot uh, um, I I cannot say it. So that you know, nothing. Capucha is not allowed to tell moves. Yeah, Katyusha can uh, can uh, express her incontent with me, not giving her attention, and she's gonna scratch me later, one way or another, some some way. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, can I? Uh -huh. What are do and and don'ts in the chat? Oh, so oh, he was asking for person joining. Okay, no, okay, not got it. Violation of fair play. Okay. He got my point, okay, where are we at? 
Um, Dogukan uh, Gureki is offering uh, a a draw, and you are saying no, no, oh, no draw. Yeah, well, I I don't know if it fits uh, for Sawa. To, and I, but... I just I just uh, uh, watched the uh, Queen's Gambit when when uh, Bet says no draw, no draw. <laughs> yeah, they made it very dramatic, but uh, yeah, and and, I mean, and all that staring in the eye of the opponents, you know, with those. Yeah, this eyes. is this is you know how I uh, described it. It's yeah. like, what are your orders, sir? What do you want a drink type of look? You know, they play a move and then they look like okay, the other side. No, no. Uh, yeah, like <laughs> make a move and then, and what are you <laughs> gonna do about that? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> and now what you gonna do type I don't, I don't know in Turkish I, I said like could I get your uh, order sir you know yeah. that will like coffee or tea type of but yeah. uh, once again about this issue you know tonight uh, I will talk uh, in our uh, you know, this Canadian uh, IBM TV program with uh, mm-hmm. Sasha Star, uh, which I every uh, Saturday night do mm-hmm. you know uh, maybe I can share the, the, the link uh why not? I will see Facebook of mine. I think uh, mm-hmm. there will be nothing. Uh, uh, it's not like uh, there will be a move. But, but then, you know, there is one chess position uh, at the end of this uh, stream. We can even uh, show it. You know, this was the best contribution of uh, Gary Kasparov to the show, I guess. Yes. Oh. But uh, <laughs> they cut it. They cut it and it's just... Uh, Incredible. I mean, uh, and you cannot find it anywhere because, uh, okay, I mean, with all the respect, uh, people like, I don't know, Simon Williams, uh, this, that they show some games, especially this uh, Patrick Wolf uh, against uh, Ivanchuk. Ivanchuk Wolf, that uh, I assume Kasparov uh, improved on, uh, on, uh, on the game, yeah. Okay. Uh, but in, in, in reality, nobody could touch this position because they couldn't uh, come up with the... Uh, oh, you, you mean because in the, that uh, those years in the 60s and the 70s, there was no um, um, answer to the move? The, uh, no, 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 no. Look, Kasparov has given some position which was used, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in the game uh, Lushenko, the old... Uh, whatever, you know, uh, world champion, yeah? You remember, yeah? The guy with uh, funny hair. Okay. Uh-huh. So, okay. So, oh, some, the... position, some combination. Actually, Russians, they analyzed the, the, the Germans with the doors open. Mm-hmm. And uh, for some reason, they all say, like, they, I mean, they talk very loud. And uh, our uh, quiz gambit beauty, you know, goes there. and. Uh, she understands and then she figures out. She, she hears. She yeah. hears something critical. Mm-hmm. She hears something critical like, well, uh, this is all about uh, whatever, you know, this move. Uh, yeah, I saw that as well. Uh, yeah, what's the, this, this move. Okay, uh, and we have a I, guy, I, guy, I'm sorry, I, we have a guy in uh, in the chat that says, Premk666. Says how, uh, sir, I would like to ask a question: How to study Kasparov games? Um, take well, a book and study. Yeah, <laughs> take a book or get a, co- a co- course or something like. I I had like the, they had those uh, old Fritz kind of videos and uh, um, programs, and uh, he had a complete uh, course on Queen's Gambit. I, I when when I was starting chess, that's one of the first thing that I, I saw. Like if no, you... but all these questions are a little bit, uh, you know. Uh, I, I mean, look, if somebody wants to study something, he goes and he he, he does uh, study by himself. You know, like when you start asking uh, in this funny way, like how to how to study Kasparov's games. I mean, the other day, I, I had a, I received some sort of uh, message from one of these richest people, and uh, the guy uh, says like. Uh, I don't have money, I cannot take lessons, but uh, how should I learn chess? Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to sound like uh, Marie Antoinette, uh, you know, but uh, <laughs> I mean, how do you, 
how do you really answer this question? You know, is this a question starting with, you know, just take a book and study, how to study Kasparov's games, right? I don't know, just uh, pay, buy some uh, chess paste, buy a book. Uh, the course or whatever, you know, or go yeah. on uh, YouTube and find videos and stuff. Look, people who, who ask uh, such questions, it means like they have no uh, need or they have no intention to really study. Uh, if I ask him the same, if I ask him like, okay, how do I study Kasparov's games? What's he going to tell me? Is the, uh, you know, the probability of uh, having a proper way, just uh, a proper means. Uh, if I answer this question or if he answers this question, is uh, almost the same. And uh, take something and study. Yeah? Okay, so. Uh, a book, uh, uh, database. Uh, also, FM Andrew says, I just need to say how wonderful and generous the sporting spirit is shown in our, uh, by our esteemed uh, GM Atalik Suet. Yeah, the nice word. Uh, and, uh, we have a Andrew nice... is always positive. You know? Yeah, yeah, he's very positive. <laughs> I, I, we spoke yesterday about that. <laughs> Especially. Yeah, yeah. just uh, Adi says hello. Hello, just Adi. Thanks for coming to our stream. And PM sixty sixty six says, uh, just said it says uh, it's now following. Thanks for the follow. Uh, and Andrew is uh, making the joke. As he says, I have no money, but how can I get rich? He's uh, mocking <laughs> the gay, uh, the the uh, yeah the yeah the how to say the yeah. if I were a rich man was a very popular song in my childhood. You know from the. Uh, violent player uh, on the roof or whatever on the uh, how yeah call, yeah it's uh, a fiddler on the roof yeah yeah fiddler on the roof yeah I, I yeah. always uh, just if I was a rich man na 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 if I were a rich man yeah this that it was going it was really in my childhood yeah really really it was one of the popular things. Uh, Okay, so um, let's see where we are. I, I just got stuck uh, in the conversation in the chat. You're in the game to get, uh, get back to Nogukan uh, Gureke. And, uh... Nogukan came back to his senses and uh, after impersonating uh, Baret or Kato, whoever played King E7, now he came back to his senses and he plays a uh, uh, pretty strange and bad moves. Uh, okay. Collaboration with Robocop is over. You know. uh -huh. Okay, but now your rook seems uh, stuck there. Mm, yeah, but it's an outpost. I don't know if it should be applied for the rooks. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I mean, look, I am in danger of having a negative result in this uh, assignment, I can tell you. Abdenur Jama, who is probably the best uh, Algerian player ever came in this world. Yeah, how oh, is it like that already? Okay. No, I mean, I have very poor knowledge of uh, real Al uh, Algerian players. I mean, not to mention, I, I played uh, a, a lot of tournaments, and one of them was obviously the Mediterranean Championship. And I have seen some Algerian players. I think I played even with uh, Mohlis, uh, who was a real player. Right? He became a titled player. He was really talented. Abdenur Gemma is uh, a little bit too good even for Mohlis, I guess. If Mohlis is from Algeria, I confused him with some of this town. But Buika, for instance, look, real people I know the names is Buika and Mariola, Mariola who the people I played, you know, here and that. And, uh, and they, they still don't have such great positions like some of the people had. Or Muyo, we respect Muyo from the anecdotes. We don't know where he is from. We suspect things. <laughs> By the way, he did the rook cut, stuck that. Ah. Oh, he's in one uh, Turkish uh, uh, club, uh, IS Santraç Kulubu, uh, if I am mistaken, and Kakagan Aydin and Turnuva. So I'm, I'm suspecting he's Turkish as well. Well, I mean, it's such a name, obviously, you know. And, uh, look, I also played him in a normal game. Uh, and uh, you can see that 1-0 or whatever, you know. And, uh, well, okay, let's give the rook whatever. I don't care, you know. 
but it's a little bit, uh, you know, too good for the slime of level uh, in a strange way. Um, and uh, and Andrew is saying uh, Buike is Stankovic Dragon from Smederevo. Yes. Yeah, he's a yeah, we know him. He's a normal, real player. I mean, uh, there is no no doubt about it. It's uh, I, I mean, he's a twenty two hundred player. I know him actually. Yeah. So and we have also uh, uh, Sergey, who is uh, Sergey Avedisov from uh, Montenegro, and also Nemonya is. Uh, uh, no, Nemonia, I, I know him very well. I mean, he's uh, for sure uh, more than I do. Our friends from uh, Kragujevac, like I mean, Novoselsky, I don't know, Barlov, uh, who is not showing up on internet uh, that much these days. Uh, or uh, I, I have one of my closest friends, actually, he's a uh, you know, Branko Komnenic, uh, he's a FIDA master and one of the uh, big, largest collection of books he has. Wow. Yeah. More than... In the world. Wow, wow. More than Sinisha Dražić. Well, Sinisha <laughs> is here. Just kidding. No, I'm saying more than Sinisha Dražić. He has more books because I know the Sinisha... But Sinisha sells them. That's how the Sinisha... Sinisha doesn't have much, but okay. Sinisha is a very interesting personality. You know, he's a very talented player. And we played the same team for Hugo Kac in the last... Uh, 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 Serbian and, uh, League, yeah. Yeah, Serbian League. And I'm, I'm supposed to meet... Uh, Sinisha sometime soon uh, playing uh, you know one of his uh, one of his tournaments uh, in uh, Novi Sad uh, and uh, I, I at some moment I thought like uh, Sinisha came to chat and he's, a, he's an interesting person I mean with his pros and cons just like Abtenur Jema Abtenur absolutely died with the queen on uh, D3 Look, uh, Vuka played bad. I, I, in such positions, two two pieces are always a little bit uh, better than the Rook, unless Vuka is a surprise up to his sleeve. Uh, it's that Queen A6 checking D2 shouldn't uh, be a problem. And meanwhile, uh, okay, Sergey played a uh, pretty. Decent, but Sergey. I mean, do we have it in the, you know, in Yugoslav languages? This name Sergey. I think he is uh, by origin uh, Russian, but I'm not sure. Uh, he's the last, like the lost son of uh, Geller, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> because Geller's son's name is Alexandra. He is from. Uh, he's Sergey Avedisov from uh, Podgorica, from my team. That's and I, I have him uh, in uh, in all my team in. Uh, and unleashes Facebook. Yeah, but I, I, I will tell you a very important secret, you know, which it looks like you didn't know. Okay. Uh, when you mentioned, for instance, yeah, like uh, you say the Sokolov could easily be a Russian. But you know that Sokolov's father is Bulgarian. It's Bulgarian, Bulgarian. No, I didn't know that. That's the. That's yeah, he the can be also parts. Bulgarian as well, yeah. So he is, yeah, like Ivanov, uh, you know, he's in ba both Bulgarian and Russian. After all, these are Volgars, yeah, the, the guys from Volga River who walk a little bit uh, too far. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, love, so, I love how Sokolov plays, uh, actually. No, that... Sokolov is a great player, but he lost his interest for chess and he became a, a Fide person you know i don't know if it is good bad uh you know he's just uh, one of this fit of people uh and he is at the moment in uh, emirates uh teaching uh, more and he was in iran like uh, it's shown in many of uh, many of those uh once in a while people talk about yeah i saw i saw that uh what's the name um Adriana Nicola was also there. In... there is a well, lot there of... were many people there. Yeah, Adriana yeah. Nicola is... Probably uh... having camps and uh, teaching chess and stuff like that. 
And but I am, I am afraid she may be done with it. I think also Stojanovic uh, uh, just returned to Serbia. The, the you know the, the, one of the best uh, women players, and uh, Miladinovic is there. By yeah. the way. Lena Miladinovic. No, 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 no. Lena is the uh, beautiful <laughs> Miladinovic. This is former world champion. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, Igor Milanovic. Okay. So the, the famous uh, grandmaster, uh, he is there and uh, he's going, uh, I mean, he's always teaching uh, these people. Uh, you know. Uh, and and uh, uh, our friend uh, Kaden is in chat and he's asking uh, how to say chess in Serbian, Shah. Yes, uh, in Serbian we say Shah. By the way, yeah. that's, uh, that's a word I think that uh, comes from. Um, Persian, uh, it's a Persian orient, uh, origin, and uh, it means uh, the Shah, uh, Persian Shah, how you call it? Yeah, definitely. Like a ruler, yeah, because, yeah. and uh, also Shah Mat means uh, like uh, the Shah, the, the ruler is it. So yeah, the, exactly. But uh, you, you remember this Albert Camus uh, Etrange? Uh, Stranger, yes. Know, which, which is, uh, you read it, yeah? Yeah, I did. That's uh, okay. So, and uh, and uh, okay, you remember this uh, band, uh, The Cure? Uh, yeah, yeah. And they had this song, uh, "Killing an Arab," basically based on the you on know the... book. Okay. And uh, I will tell you now. Uh, I mean, I played with him, and it's a very common name, Matamoros. I mean, Matt is basically even coming from this uh, MAVs or whatever, you know, it's, it's just... Uh, uh, I know, know, I, know from he, I know from uh, Hebrew, Matt means dead. Uh, exactly, it should uh, be okay. I, I, mean, think it's, uh, I think it came, uh, it's uh, of Arabic origin and it also came into Persian as well. I don't know if you have a similar word in Turkish because I know that uh, from, uh, from uh, Turkish... Many words uh, came uh, into Serbian uh, from Arabic. Arabic mm -hmm. and Turkish have also many similar way, uh, similar words. Like no, definitely. But look, Turkish is composed of three languages. You know, some uh, some uh, real whatever. Uh, if it is real, I don't know words uh, from the. You know, uh, I can tell tell you uh, the, one uh -huh. of the most interesting words that they that I found in. Uh, that's in uh, in uh, Hebrew, and I uh, it's connected to the the word in Serbian, and it's through Turkish. And which one? Socks. How you say socks in? Uh... Chorap. Chorapi. Yes, it's chorapi uh, or chorapi. Chorapi is in Macedonian. In Serbian are chorapis. In uh, Turkish, I think is gerep, and it's in Arab. No, no. In Turkish is chorap. Chorap. And uh, Turkish yeah. is gerep. In in uh, uh, sorry, in Arabic is gerep. And in uh, in Hebrew is garbaim. Okay, and the same uh, really... the same root. Uh, it, it, yeah, well, it sounds, GRB uh, you know, GRB is the same root. Gerb or uh, GRB, uh, whatever. And uh, only in the Turkish it uh, uh, G turned into chi, uh, ch, you know. No, but the, and the, the, the... B B B in um, in <laughs> Arabic turned into P. But the, yeah, in Turkish also, sometimes according to the needs of the uh, phrase uh, and, uh, you know, the semantic uh, concordance, you know, it's, it may really, BMP may uh, may switch. But uh, the thing is like, uh, what I wanted to tell, I forgot what I wanted to tell, I got a little bit... Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm also distracted no by my cat. No, 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 but I was uh, more uh, distracted. You, you're talking about uh, Cure and uh, and the song uh, that's based on... Uh... Yeah, so this, no, the, this I, I basically said what I wanted to say, you know, like uh, Matt is really the death in uh, those <laughs> languages and, uh, and Shahmat, which is uh, the Russian <laughs> what Russian word for uh, chess uh, is coming from that, obviously. You know, and uh, but uh, I don't know about uh, uh, all these languages. 
started to evolve, uh, obviously there are a lot of common words, you know, between uh, Turkish and uh, Russian and uh, Serbian and, uh, you know, uh, I also, some of them, even in Croatian part, uh, they, uh, they were existing, for instance, I, with my really good friend, uh, uh, Bizda, Gora, uh, we were talking about uh, some uh, music, uh, some songs, uh, you know, and there was this uh, really famous at the time, Peske uh, Boye, some song by uh, Goran Bare. And, uh, well, he was the first one to, to make me learn that, uh, okay, it's some sort of, okay, peshke, I mean, boya, yeah? Boya means uh, paint. In, yeah, it depends. makeup. Yeah, it, it does. But also, boya in, uh, in, uh, uh, mean, boya of boy means uh, also to fight or to, you know, uh, to make war or battle. Mm -hmm. Also, they have a uh, similar in um, in Czech languages. Bojovanie uh, uh, or Bojovanie also means uh, battling. No, so it is uh, it is interesting. I mean, uh, how uh, certain words are uh, going from one to another and uh, uh, sometimes changing. It's the same with French and uh, English, by the way. I mean, some words uh, yeah, I here. Have, uh, I, I learned a, a little bit about that. So I have uh, an interesting thing is that um, because French were um, ruling mm -hmm. England for a long time. Yeah, there was the a, Gaulois. Yeah, the yeah Gaulois, the, 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 the... Angevin uh, dynasty, you know. Uh -huh. I don't know, it, that probably from 11 to 14th century, century like more than 200 years. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, English language was de developing as, uh, uh, you know, the mix between many languages, so among them French as well, but uh, Latin, Greek, uh, you have a Norse language because you have Vikings as, as the, you know, mm -hmm. um, the conquerors as well. And then you had, uh, so about French is that a lot of uh, uh, words is are the, the, the words that came as a court words, you know, like the, the the things and the stuff you use in the court and uh, they're more uh, how do you call it um uh, judicial yeah yeah more uh, fancy words and uh, more peasant words are english words <laughs> so, <laughs> originally so, yeah yeah so french can always take that against english you know and <laughs> you know that's why french always feel more profound than they are you know no i mean uh, in uh, there is some uh... Uh, well, interesting things about uh, French, and uh, I was basically raised up uh, in a French uh, boarding school in Turkey, you know, which Galatasaray is very well known for the soccer team, uh, which uh, belongs to the uh, high school. And uh, I didn't know that. No? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm part of this uh, sort of Galatasaray society, which is known uh, for the solidarity or whatever, I mean, with my uh, people from uh, my class, basically, because I failed also one year in oh, high school. I see. <laughs> you know, so you played, I basically... failed, played a lot chess and didn't focus on school, I guess. Uh, no, I had a very bad relationship with French at the time, but now with, with the same people, you know, probably I would get along uh, better and it was some um, anarchy time in Turkey and uh, I don't know, it fitted the... Uh, uh, the youth was, uh, youthful rebelliousness. Of yourself <laughs> youthful time. stupidness because out of 120 people you know only uh 30 passed to the uh upper class so it's well, really i mean is there something wrong also administratively i i think i withdrew the school but uh in a way whatever but uh but I could say like uh, French education and French way of thinking, uh, French knowledge, uh, it may come uh, awkward uh, for a while for people, but on the other hand, uh, okay, I think uh, like uh, not only with the language or whatever, you know, with uh, the uh, uh, 
I mean, they, they brought some sort of, uh, uh, well, some knowledge to English back in time. French, French uh, philosophy I like. I mean, I can always, uh, and they were, they had, you had a lot of uh, good French um, uh, mathematicians and scientists as well. So the problem is that that world is gone right now. You know, you don't have that kind of a more uh, classical education anymore. So that's, yeah, well, it's uh, education is hampered in some way. Uh, I mean, I I can I can see it uh, in uh, in by many by many different means. Uh, these are not uh, the years of uh, I don't know seventies or uh, it's just a different uh, era. Yeah. Okay, so what I discovered right now is uh, we should actually um, hurry with your games because in some games you don't have much time. So tell me which one, but I have to go there. Okay, so the game that you have less time in is a game against uh, Uho Uygun. Yeah, I did it all. Yeah, it's very few time and Uho... You have only seven minutes there and uh, in game again uh, against Abdel... Mariola? Abdenur Gemma, you have only 12 minutes. And, uh, Mario, is already, uh, I'm just uh, yeah. playing like I, I, I also, should lose this game. Yeah, and the game against time. Mariola, as you said, you have only 8 minutes. So I'm looking at uh, most of the games you're doing with five. Maybe Crash. And also, also with uh, uh, with uh, Lazar, yeah? Lazar, our friend. Uh, Lazar Babic, now. yes. You have only seven minutes, uh, uh, almost eight minutes, but less than. What eight. happened to this game? Yeah, I have to, I have eight minutes. I guess this guy, I I stuck this uh, rook there. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> against this uh, pearl of uh, whatever. Narcissus was it against Narcissus or Merit Well, Gurel? No, no, Narcissus was just done from the. Yeah, from the from the beginning. Yeah, and this guy uh, Sergey. Uh, Jesus Christ, you know, Sergey is, is, is a real uh, chess player and he's, uh, not only he got uh, his pawn back and, uh, okay, let's now draw. He, yeah, now he got uh, an advantage there. Yeah, he's, he's a pawn up and uh, probably it's a technical position, but okay, what to do? Yeah. Hey, Many man, people I... like, you know, uh, I am not. I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can win this on time. One of the lists here. This guy Which is. One? Uh, I am not. I am. He has only yes, two minutes here. left. So maybe he went there. And Muha, and Muha, I am five minutes on. Okay. You have to tell me. So Chakan, Chakan. I am also playing very slow. Uh, and okay, somebody picked up uh, something. This is MFO. Hey, you there? Thirteen moves only. Yeah. No, what to do? I mean, it's just a strange uh, thing to to have it on internet. It's not like a, you know. Uh, yeah, and I'm bored. Maybe you're not used. To... No, I mean, who who would be? It's a little bit uh, different type. Too many boards. Uh, you don't see the boards. Uh, all together, you know, it's not like a cycle. All of a sudden, you can go to one board or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm I sorry am... because because I uh, we talked a lot first with Andrew and then uh, two of us with uh, about French, about uh, uh, linguistics. Right. Okay, no, this yeah. is look. This is something. If I lose all the games, it it really doesn't matter. It's just some uh, show. The, the the main uh, the main point in, in uh, all of this is. Uh, Either some people were a little bit strong, and some people, uh, okay, playing theory, whatever, of that much, it's uh, quite impossible. I mean, this is uh, the internet. Unfortunately, is a place for uh, you know, sort of sort of cheating. I mean, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I think the Andrew is only one who is uh, has that uh, kind of uh, spirit uh, where you would think everything is positive. But I, I myself, when I play, like, okay, Buika is. Good. Or made move in the last moment against you. Uh -huh, he was. He had a really few time, yeah. Yeah, he only had few seconds there, and you play against Dogugan, uh, Dogu Kan Beke. 
Breke, Breke plays. Is, Breke is a serious break, you know. Is uh, <laughs> is definitely you're definitely lost here, but no, what to do? Okay, if if I lose to break, uh, <laughs> 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 I can't do much. Yeah. But but now our uh, brother Mufo. Burek is uh, Burek is definitely a serious issue in Bosnia. If you didn't know, no, I I, I definitely know because uh, okay in Serbia with my good friend Jovan Todorovic, where we wanna is an international master, where we wanna eat something in the morning, we have always a Burek place uh, to go, and then uh, we. Yeah. No, it depends if what... you say uh, how do you define the. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> But, uh, but Bos in Bosnia, it should be all only with uh, with meat. Uh, you know, uh, there is only meat. Bo burek with meat. If you say burek yes, with only cheese, with ground meat. Yeah, this yeah. is this is the issue, and and we always order only with ground meat. Yeah, you know, it's uh, <laughs> you get into. And I was telling it, uh, I was telling it to some nice lady who runs some shop here for. Uh, 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 you know, bread, and I, 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 when I had some break with uh, meat because in Turkey, for one reason or another, uh, they don't. Uh, very few places, at least in Istanbul, serve break. Uh, you know, with uh, like in with, Bosnia, uh, like, like, not like in Bosnia, but very few places they have. Uh, with uh, ground meat, they, they just uh, with uh, almost always they they serve yeah. with uh, yeah in uh, also in here in Jerusalem I have like a lot of bricks with cheese with uh, sweets. Cheese. With... They they try to give it more with cheese. Interesting, yeah. yeah? And that's okay, an insult of saying brick with cheese into Bosnia. I always <laughs> I I made a when I was explaining the. In the chat with uh, Twelve Chess Lions chat about streaming and everything and our ideas and so on and somewhere in in there I made a comment about Burek which is by mistake uh -huh. I was done. For. <laughs> they were, they everything were I was reactive, saying yeah. was turned into water because I made that thing <laughs> because the conversation went elsewhere and then Nenad Nenad Nemirena Nenad Radosovic from Serbia team. You know, I just have to say this thing. Everything you said, Daniel, was great. But when you said the thing with the Burek, which is... <laughs> that didn't fit the concept yeah, of Burek. Yeah. Yeah. And as I'm born in Sarajevo, well, okay, I'm I'm done for. I have to apologize. Start apologizing <laughs> for 10 minutes after. I didn't mean I made it for a mistake. Yeah. You know. No, this is this is exactly what I was... Okay, now it's not only I have few time I As it says, GM Atalik, our game could have been tested and improved my end game technique if we had exchanged queens. Yeah, well, but uh, okay, okay. Now I am uh, winning, for instance, against this guy. Uh, but uh, with Nemanja, I am not so sure. Uh, and Andre is saying in the chat, all game codes will be checked. There is an option to cycle boards automatically. And the Kaspe says, uh, how to add times. Uh, 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 to uh, to uh, to you, uh, he says. I see that he, he won't be able to make it. Uh, one of the Did players you say with Kraspai. Uh huh. He wants to add you time, but I guess no. It's okay. No, uh, it's, I mean, if I lose on time, I lose on time. It really doesn't what? matter, you know. Uh, uh, Andre says that you should maybe turn on the automatic switching of the tables. That's important. Yeah, but it didn't perfectly work uh, last time we did it. Uh, I don't know. For instance, yeah, yeah, maybe I should have uh, turned it on uh, just from the yeah, from the beginning. You have a game against Muhu Uygun that you have only one minute and thirty. And yeah, you have you have a problem with Dogukan uh, Gureka, but I'm certain yeah, it is losing all. Yeah, um, but this one is hopeless, you know. So. I don't uh, want anyone. Kraspe has uh, 12 minutes against you, th 3 minutes. Um, the it other games. Okay. And you're, yeah. Um, one against uh, um, Merz Merzo. And uh, Laz against Lazar Babic, you have only 3 minutes. There. 
No, from the beginning, I should uh, really have played with this kind of uh, switching uh, thing, but I don't know if it really switches uh, according to how it should. Um, okay, Tsaka can you have three and uh, three minutes and fifty seconds? I can see seven and forty. Okay, this guy. No, I have to open the door. Okay, uh... Yeah, no, I, I just I opened the, the door to, to my folks out. This is, well, if this guy is going uh, more and more difficult, you know, that's uh, okay, so... Maybe uh, okay. just uh, should uh, resign from the lost position, just play the games you play at, uh, at the moment. And uh, <laughs> Andrew is saying, uh, but it is okay, our GM simply has no experience with this technically. Maybe if we do more of these simuls... But, uh, but even if I would have experience, I mean, some of these games... Yeah, you know, some oh, opponents were a little bit... That. We didn't bet the, the, the players. Uh, okay. Daga Khan... Uh, just an opponent with... I don't know what happened there that you're just playing op opening with. I don't know. I just uh, really... Do not know, uh, you know, what uh, how we we proceed so slowly in some of these games. I, I don't know. Just uh, it's not like out of necessity because of having a bad position or whatever. I just uh, it happened uh, in this way. Okay. Interesting game with Lazar Babic with two against the Queen. Yeah, this should be better in principle. Okay, let me take care of this Chayakan guy. You know, I don't know why I left uh, so few uh, time with that one. Uh, okay. So we have uh, in chat our uh, uh, my friend, uh, international master Heman Sharma. Danny, uh -huh. how are you doing? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, good says he knows you. Um, Hammond, and uh, how are you doing? How's uh, how's uh, been? How you I been think I played with him also. Yeah, like I, I mean, there are many Sharmas. No, this is the sympathetic guy who re uh, arranged. Uh, he came into the team uh, later. Yeah, with uh, four matches. Yeah, yeah, he was in uh, in our. Uh, when we had prize tournament with uh, twelve chess lions too, when he he got us uh, Nikhil Sarin and uh, Arjun Erigaisi, Erigaisi then, and he's a, he's a very good streamer as well and uh, and a very good uh, chess player and also a, he gives lessons as well as well as Atalik, uh, our friend Atalik does. Um, you're in game with Lazo Babic again. Now it, uh, you picked up the pace with games. I hope you, yeah. So no, I don't what know happened I with Mergureke? You drew the game. I don't know. I think uh, one of them I drew, one of them I resigned. You know, these two real uh, heavy theoretical. Uh... Okay, so you, Casper is playing, but you have 2 minutes 44 seconds there. But it's his move. Now it's your move there. Mm. There. Then you went to game with Lazabavic for a long time. Okay, this guy. I don't know, for instance, this guy completely, uh, how to say, neglected uh, to play with him in some way. Sacrifice the exchange here. Okay, this guy I should resign. Okay. 
what this one is. What is happening here if I okay. one that came there? Um, just exchange everything at the end. Uh, yeah, this one of them is completely winning. Yeah. But uh, here, uh, here also, I think it's winning. Just the pawn is too strong, and Sergey and me, we didn't play many moves. Yeah, in the last uh, last period. But you have enough principle. You have enough time. Even so in some of them, yes. In you. some of them, like resign in the games with MF4. Yeah. Turkey, you have many Turkish uh, admirers here in the the simul. At, yeah, at least than... I think you played at least five of them. <laughs> yeah. And also the in some of them, you know. The, okay, yeah. So, um, when when we had that tournament, uh, uh, with uh, with uh, one plus one with uh, with Srikovic and with uh, lots of Indian guys and Kuralets, so I am Hammond and me. We had a conversation, and he, because the other guys were much younger. Indian guys mm -hmm. like Nihal and Arjun, uh, Hammond li liked in our conversation like to call you and uh, Strikovic uncle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, it's uh, so it's uh, in, it is in English and in Russian. It makes a lot of uh, okay, so, you yeah. know. Uh, and and he says say hello to Uncle Atalik from my side too. Uh, <laughs> Hammond is saying the very uh, comedic kind of character as well. Yeah, we had lots of fun uh, in uh, in uh, you know getting the guys recruiting and uh, calling and organizing that tournament with with especially that Georgian uh, game against uh, Joe Baba's team that was very funny, you know, and previous one. Well. No, it's everything with Joe Baba always turns out to be. Yeah. You know. I, I had actually uh, helped him a little bit with YouTube. Uh, Hammond asked me. Uh, Hammond knows him as, as well, so he says, yeah. Joe has problem with YouTube. He didn't know how to register YouTube account, so he made uh -huh. a Twitch profile and he needed to put videos from Twitch to YouTube. He didn't know how to do it, so he calls yeah. me on Skype and says, "Okay, so let's make a Skype call." And he says, "No, I cannot, uh, you know, make a video call because I'm not wearing any clothes." in the morning <laughs> so Jubaba is a is a funny character but also no really definitely is... I mean uh, he was uh, really uh, always a talented kid and uh, he had a lot of uh, you know interesting uh, stories and stuff and now I I'm... it's not like I I, I watched but uh, I have seen uh, that from the beginning so he was analyzing some type of games yeah, and also um, Alekan games and uh, uh, older masters as well on his stream. And he did, like, not many people do that, what he does. It's very nice from his side. I mean, from. No, it's definitely. I mean, a serious player always uh, and, taking a look in. Uh, and. Uh, here yeah. also. Okay, uh -huh. so I think you, you're winning this game against Lazabavich. Uh, no, with Bobic, I am winning. Okay, it looks like a chess position. Uh, and he cannot uh, really do much. But uh, for instance, uh, with this guy, Tagakan. Yeah, whatever his his name is, uh, is getting a little bit. Uh, I don't know. First of all, I don't know how I how slow I and stupid I played, you know? Uh, yeah, it really, it, it, it looks completely lost. But here it's uh, rather a. Uh, matter of time just to catch the point because you see that there are no weaknesses with the yeah, who the can uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah just have a fortune i don't know what his uh, king is uh, uh, doing there but uh, it doesn't help. a state in the wrong uh, i mean whatever happened uh, you know this is uh, for the or what we said you know for the learning uh, sake out of it you know that uh, this is a typical difficult uh, material uh, balance for black because here even uh, if yeah. you have knight and rook is better than the queen maybe. Yeah, you cannot actually um, stop the pawns. Some pawns are just gonna roll there, and at some point you'll get into problems with uh, you know working stuff. With the pass, especially with the pass pawn, yeah, like uh, now. Uh, 
Now I start, uh, maybe I can even push it uh, immediately, but okay, this is just I can support the, the knife. Okay, let's lose this one. Uh, there's too many losses. I mean, I can't, I can't, whatever this means. Uh, some of them are, okay, so. Okay, Lazo is thinking, still we have time. I think I said I will have 50% in assignment. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. We had fun. We talked. Not all about. Oh, definitely. It's just. Uh, but even with uh, even if I would have some experience, it's uh, on internet. It's much more difficult to play it rather than. Uh, you know. Because you, I mean, you uh, you need to develop a, a feel for it. You know how to play it and online because. Well, some people they do it, but it's very artificial. For instance, for some for someone like me, I I think I can never uh, develop some uh, touch for this uh, type of uh, you know play because it's uh, very very artificial after all for me at least uh, i don't know okay, let's walk towards the night okay so Bob, uh, this guy gives me a check uh, so let's move to the corner for instance okay this kind of uh, play is uh, very the game oh, with no, Tony it's... guy from Croatia is a a tricky game. Where is that? I, I I couldn't see that game. Maybe now it will bounce back. You have only two games that are uh, uh, active now, and one is a game with Laza, and an another game is with Tony. No, okay. And you have a minute and a twenty. No, you have more minutes. You have uh, almost five minutes there against his. Um, one minute and 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Back to aim with Laza. Work, you just have enough place to hide you. Yeah, Laza is giving checks that he yeah, yeah, that, that H6 is going to come at one point. Sure. No, it looks like he's not doing that fine in that game. But here it's, uh, I don't know, here it's, uh, yeah, so when I go up with the king, uh, what's he going to do? He has no checks. No, he may have, but uh, okay, I mean, uh, not consecutively. Uh, he, he has to play something like this, and I have to bring the king up. That should uh, really do the job, you know. It's, uh, I, I don't even have to maybe take anything, but uh, D6 there and uh, yeah, King D6 in top. Yeah, it's just uh, okay. Okay, he has to really resign. I don't know. He played a few pieces for it. So. Mm -hmm. Only making a Katyusha upset. <laughs> yeah, Katyusha is that different. <laughs> and this is actually, just to repeat, all questionable games will be checked. The test result will be published. Well, some people think they can. I mean, I always. Uh, Mentioned that that uh, in trio we we don't actually like. No, but this became a little bit. Uh, I don't understand. You know, it just became a little bit. Uh, you know, it just uh, at the end of the day we started to think for. Uh, it's making us in some way paranoid. Uh, also, you know, uh, in some uh, in some other words. Uh, you know, like uh, even when someone plays, I, I don't know, like the very first guy, like Dr. Uh, Mabuse, you know, I I don't know. For instance, this guy, Char Khan, I, I really couldn't understand what was happening because I just uh, played uh, to, uh, to, how to say, to uh, slow for some reason. Unusual for the... Uh, pace for a uh, for such a cycle, you know, because I'm not aware of this board. It's not like physically I see it, you know. And then you have this, uh, and you take this uh, games from 
like from drop if you, you withdraw, you know, even in a uh, blindfold cycle, uh, you would be more aware. You know, in, in internet, uh, you you just say the right word. You know, you you have to build up a touch for it. Yes, just yes. doesn't it's uh, unnatural for a chess player. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So I think you have an upper hand in this game with Sony. Mm, not so clear because he has this uh, posters. You know, it's not uh, it's not really clear. I think I have to uh, defend my extra pawn for a while. And you see, this is, uh, I mean, I will have an extra pawn first. And then I'm afraid uh, he has a very strong blockade, you know, uh, because if I would play h4, for instance, if he would just sacrifice uh, with uh, g5 and that pushes h4 himself with pawns on e4 and f3, the diagonal closed. You know, I might have lost the game. Here I have little chances, I don't know, some small chances. Yeah, your king is a little bit too far right now. Well, yes, and uh, also he's one because he has to come, uh, still he has to come up. Uh, we are actually, both kings are a little bit away from the main scene of action, so. Uh, and okay, now he's he has to lose another tempo. Yeah, yeah. Now I think you're winning. Sure. Yes, I, I have a real good chances now because uh, you know uh, he in such positions with the pawn on h4. But I have to be I have to be a little bit careful because he may really bail out. I have to really in a good uh, way uh, cut him from coming to. Uh, sacrifice uh, the knight for the pawn. Then it may be a draw. You see? I also hear my what? King. Yeah, he's trying to do, but uh, um, for instance, here now he's losing because he cannot uh, enter the corner, and then when he starts circling, he has to play. Many exact moves. Now he couldn't sacrifice, but now I'm afraid he is seriously threatening to sacrifice. I don't know if I can prevent it. I think it's a draw. He will play this, and now he has to get the pawn on e5 and just go to the corner. My bishop should have been on h7 or somewhere. Prevent this. Uh, yeah, okay. He. Okay, he's uh, he just uh, reacted on time, and now I don't know. He has to only go up uh, to the corner. Now, like a yeah, now I have to enjoy stalemate. Him in the... <coughs> okay, good save. Back to learn uh, with Simon. So Simon will complete six wins, five draws, five losses. <laughs> you know, okay, but uh, yeah. So okay, I, at the end of today, it's a plus score. <laughs> it's a plus score, definitely. Okay, I mean, it's the first time that you're doing this, and uh, I mean, I don't remember the end of my game with uh, Buika, for instance. Um, so Boyka resigned after Queen F7. Okay, something with another game. No, okay. Look, we we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. You know, should I close this uh, cycle? Uh, I have to forget about this cycle. <laughs> it's one of the worst performances by any titled player in any kind of you know cyberspace or whatever in cycle. Maybe uh, we should think about how to do it uh, next time better, but. Uh... No, but forget about this thing. You know, okay, our Zoom meeting is on. Uh -huh. Let me share screens. How the open Zoom meetings are, are okay. we there? Okay, I closed. Close. I went to Trio Fantastico. Ah, okay, sorry. So you cannot see. You cannot see anymore the the symbol. Let's uh, pretend it never happened. But next time. Yeah, no, no, it's just... <laughs> no, but I wanted to show you. You know this. Uh, okay. This thing from this Queen's uh, Gambit movie. Or uh, the serial. I don't know if it's really the best, the best uh, 
Bart, I can call you by the uh, Skype. Do, you, is it you, okay? can, you can you can call me, but then uh, you you uh, should mute the Skype, and you can uh, I can try to uh, make it on Zoom or something uh, on on Twitch. Okay, just you can call me from Zoom, whatever. I mean, I, I have to make it bigger. Your uh, I don't know why it doesn't. Okay, no, this is crazy. Uh, I'll I'll make, I'll make a uh, audio exit call. exit minimized video. Uh, I'll, I'll I'm gonna make an audio call. Daniel. Yeah, you are calling. Yeah. Okay, and I'll just for to avoid the, the double audio, you can uh, yeah. turn off your uh, turn off your microphone there. Just mute your microphone. And In you can, uh, Zoom. Yeah, and I can add. Uh, um, Look, I will get out of the Zoom stuff. Is it uh, is it there? It's okay. No, I, if you want to make it on on stream, uh, or maybe I should uh, just uh, close the stream. And Andre no, saying. Okay. Uh, Andrew is saying thank you so much for your good oh, work. Oh, okay, we had to do it and uh, we did it st still with plus one. But uh, okay, now I will show you the best part of the movie okay. that uh, nobody, nobody really touched. Oh. Okay, okay, so um, okay. maybe let, let me try to add uh, another layer in uh, uh, in OBS. Okay. One second, one second. I, I have to kill, kill the zoom. Zoom no, 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 no. Uh, it's okay. Don't kill the zoom. The kill just the, uh -huh. uh, okay. mute the microphone in uh, in uh, Skype. Because oh, you... oh, okay. That, okay. That, okay. Then I have to go out, out so Skype. Skype. I, don't I don't know. know. Where is... Uh, okay, okay, Zoom, Zoom is, is here. here. Okay, okay, but I can, I can share, share the screen, screen in, in, in the Zoom. zoom. No, but, but you didn't uh, mute your microphone in Skype. Uh, I have, I have to, to go to Skype. Skype. Maybe, Maybe I, I get out, out of Skype. Skype. Is it okay? Okay, I mute the microphone. And in now Skype. it's better. Okay, and now you can share screen there. And you can share. That in, uh, in uh, Skype, yeah? Yeah, and then I can uh, share uh, what you want me to. What you want to show. Uh, um. Okay. Whatever. No, I can. Okay, now I will show you this thing. That. Uh, you watched all the episodes, yes? Um, well, cancel this. Yeah, I, I did watch. Uh, just let me. But did you did you notice what happened in this game? I probably didn't. Hold on. Properties. Okay, this is so uh, you see it, yeah? Uh, just uh, hold on. I need to add the window capture to. Uh... Okay, no, I'm just waiting since I am editor of these things. Um, okay, and uh, I'm not sure if I can get to do this. I'm gonna try, it doesn't show much here. Type that. <coughs> okay, I'm trying, but it doesn't work. Okay, but um, do you do you see my screen? I I do I do your, see your screen, but I cannot show it to the, the guys in the. Okay, then let's not show them. You know what's the point of? <laughs> let's keep it for us. <laughs> um, the game you can show me the, the game, and I can find it on the internet or something. No, you can never find it on the internet because. You understand the problem? People couldn't construct it. It's a game between... How you will understand? I can send you as a material by Skype and you can uh, later mm -hmm. make a show about it, which I, mm -hmm. which I will be happy. But uh, this is uh, actually the, the biggest part, the biggest role of Kasparov in this movie. Mm -hmm. If you remember, this is the old world champion, Lushenko having a funny hair. And okay. You know, and now this game was adjourned mm -hmm. in this position, and uh, I don't really understand uh, if uh, last move of Lushenko was H4 or before playing H4. If you remember in the serial, in the series, you know, the guys uh, they were analyzing Lushenko, Laev, and obviously this uh, Borg, Borgov, the, the Karpov of that time. So uh, somehow. Uh, the woman hears like, uh, oh, it's, they say something like, oh, you play H5, Lushenka, and you will win the game. Mm -hmm. 
and she pushes h5 herself. And this position is pretty much bad for black. She could play rook d4 or queen f4. It's pretty much bad for white. Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, from move number two, they jump to move number seven. Okay. Wow. Well, it's not okay because could you could you really find all these five moves? It's very difficult logically. Yeah. That's, but somehow at the end of today I found it because they came like this, which is pretty illogical at the uh, at the beginning. Because now G takes H7 runs into Queen G7. And now he played Rook H5, and after King F1 played King G7, which is a very strong move because he wants to play Queen F6 without being annoyed of. Uh, G7 or rook takes E5 and G7. And now really black is uh, winning, you know? And okay, even here it's uh, a little bit of work. If you, if you take uh, with queen, it's just a uh, map of for it. Quite nice, no? But uh, if, you, if you watch this scene, once again, I will send this material to your chest page. You know, fire. But if you see this, uh, you know, in the, you don't, uh, I mean, you never see such a beautiful position from the. I am Syria. sorry uh, for just, uh, just the OO King 97 and uh, just Maniac. Um, I can, uh, unfortunately, I'm trying, uh, we tried to buy a Skype, uh, and I'm sure that, I'm pro uh, sure that uh, Sua doesn't have, uh, maybe we should do it via Zoom, but I'm not sure if. Uh, then our faces, no, probably maybe it's better if we do it. We try. Let's try to uh, to see it. Uh, turn off the Skype and try to do it uh, via Zoom, and maybe. Okay, it's... but first I have to uh, put the microphone on. Okay, no, let's, no, I turn just on. yeah. Turn off that. Turn off Skype entirely. Yeah, I did. I did. And now I will share the screens. And share the screen in Zoom. Zoom, yeah. Let's try to bring it to people in the. Okay. Yeah, okay, you see me, but okay, do you see yes. my screen? You are screen sharing. Let let me try to uh, show that uh, add scene, capture, capture. Let us try. No, uh, uh, let me see. Oh, no, we can see it. Okay. Um... And by the way, my cats first hearing Katyusha, they got kind of like attracted at this at one of them. Okay. Yes, so it's the cat. Now, of, I, now, uh, now uh, I can yeah. see it. Uh, and let me just uh, try to. adjust the screen and uh, this is not going to be very uh, the best uh, thing i can do but uh, but uh, yeah it's, so it's, it's working uh, it's going to work it's going to work sort of mm -hmm. um, we won't have uh, 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 we'll have our voices but we won't have our cameras so let's uh, replay the position okay okay so the position yeah just uh... Okay, now I don't, <laughs> I have to press. Yeah, okay, so it goes. So, okay, let's start from the beginning. So, h5, she plays. Actually, it's a great move. You know, I mean, it's not maybe the objectively uh, the most logical one, because, for instance, let's say you play rook d4, queen goes back, and you play queen f4. Some of this should be uh, better for black, but h5 is really very strong, because... It's not like to cover the h5 square only, but also having the rook switch to h4, yeah? And now plays king h8, another great move, because since you cannot take queen takes g6 due to rook g7, so takes and now comes from the h line, and this is the star move, you know? Actually, Gary did, I don't know where he had these notes. Uh, it doesn't resemble into anything. I just search for position. This is not anywhere. 
And okay, rook g1, also logical. And check. Sorry, first comes rook uh, 7 h5 to play rook g5. King f1, and now another uh, very strong move, king g7. White is totally helpless. Yeah. And now uh, he comes from the d line. And I mean, you didn't notice this position in the. No, I, I in didn't. The I didn't see anything there actually. I just. No, because you know what they did. They they started with h5, yeah. g h5, king h8, and then they jumped into this position where everything was off. They yeah. lost this in the what is called in the by the French world of montage. So they were. Uh, Having uh, they uh, something they, uh, they when they were bringing together, they lost this part completely, and now it doesn't make any sense if you play rook d4. But actually, the best part out of it with rook ch7 and king g7, you know, it's very difficult for anyone to construct this position. That's why, for instance, uh, I have seen this guy, Ginger GM, you know, this Williams, mm -hmm. he had four chess positions. Okay, one of them is very well. I mean, I didn't know much this Ivanchuk Wolf game. I forget about this Biel Interzola. It was not such an interesting game. And also, the way why they have chosen it is another question. They seriously improved on this game. But uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if the guy should try to play like this for a draw by just repeating the position from his part. <laughs> yes. In that game, but but I think this was the best chess scene. They totally uh, botched it up. Yeah, probably the because of the time they have some time when they did. No, the I... simply simply uh, Kasparov didn't see it after they finished the movie. Yeah. Otherwise, he would really uh, you know be, be very upset. upset with them. Yeah. It's it's uh, it, the thing is when you have a uh, uh, people who are uh, more. Uh, Movie people and less of uh, uh, chess people that, that uh, things like this happen. No, definitely because okay, they had a very good influence by Bruce Pandolfini. I mean, uh, for instance, in one of the tournaments, uh, uh, she plays with a guy, and the guy was exactly a replica of uh, you know uh, Eric Cookie. It's very well known for American players, and I played a lot of tournaments in America. It's some. Um, you know, some typical figure of open tournaments, always smiling, having some little of uh, mental issues, you know. Or uh, I believe this guy Baltic uh, really represents James Tarjan. He looks like Ray James Tarjan. He quit the game very yeah, early. Like, also, I think that her friends should represent Angela Davis also. Her black friend uh, from the orphanage. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is but this is with the Black Panther. Issues, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, yeah. feministic issues. Yeah. She hates everyone. She only talks about bad black people. You know, it was. I mean, for instance, also there are cultural things. Uh, yeah, well, this, it, this guy Tavnis. Yeah, you remember Tavnis? Yeah, uh, it it looks a lot like a feminist kind of a TV show, like they put today in the Hollywood, but you don't have a, a father figure. So what happens to Bet in the? In the um, in the show is uh, the father is nowhere around. Her mother is by herself. She got, dies in a crash uh, accident. She gets no, a death. She commits suicide. Uh, she wants to. Yeah. Arguably, she wants to kill the girl as well. And then you have then you have uh, orphanage, and then she's adopted uh, by a family where the father uh, or is a. Uh, uh, not interested. Uh, she got only adopted because her mother wanted, and the guy drops away. Like uh, maybe he has some other family somewhere else, you know. And the mother drinks and so on. But the father figure is absent all the way. You don't have the no, father just came out and pushed the mother at some moment. But the best thing, in my opinion, what kind of orphanage is this? You know, it's a dream for some people. You go there and they drag you. You get all this uh, anxiotols, you know, like uh, yeah. for free. <laughs> she thinks that uh, it helps her visualization, visualization of uh, chess world, chess, uh, chess board, you know. So she sees the chess board uh, in a better way. By the way, I mean, you are already pretty much conversant and uh, proficient with chess. 
Hmm? Do you imagine the chessboard three dimensional in your uh, mind, or you have two dimensional, you know, uh, book type of chessboard, you know, a book diagram type of chess? Which one? I think most people are to into think into two dimensions. Everyone, what most people, you know, you were very kind towards the series. Everybody yeah. thinks like in chess diagrams. Which guy will think, you know, this this king? You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, it's uh, it's better for the movie. They make it more uh, magical and. No, definitely. But you you also look. Uh, there was an issue in Turkey, and uh, some Muslim radicals, you know, in rain, they start telling like they give subliminal, you know, subliminal. Uh, messages hmm? and unfortunately it is true in every uh, netflix thing which i'm not uh, very much with netflix and i uh, i i mean my my wife has it and uh, and uh, you know she she watches more than i do before i did watch i start watching they completed with my son but now the interesting thing that is uh, you have to have a black woman the black panther type of angela davis woman yeah like you well pointed out. You have to have some gays like Tavnis and his uh, roommate who appears out of nowhere when Tavnis had a, uh, you know, was about uh, having a romance uh, with uh, mm -hmm. our maiden. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, Beth Harmon. Yeah, you have, I mean, they have to put all the, the things there. Yeah. Uh, definitely, but also, also some people of more oriental world they they immediately say like yeah what these guys are gays for instance when i watched it i say well the guy was a roommate mm -hmm. with a guy who plays tennis or whatever well in america you sell the room yeah there may be the whole football team of uh, whatever you know but I, I i really didn't distinguish that these people are gays okay so we can uh, well it's not uh, i don't know this i would call maybe we should uh, turn off the share screen uh, yeah no, this position really is my uh, my biggest yeah. discovery from the movie, and you you will never see this position anywhere. I know. This is yeah. this is the this is the funniest thing, you know, because uh, I mean, it doesn't matter how good you are in chess, it's very difficult to reconstruct the position. It just took me like Eureka, you know, in shower at some moment. I say, yeah, well, Rook C H seven should be played, but how could Rook switch to H seven? Then he has to play first Rook H one. Then rook c h7, rook g1. I, I really absolutely understood nothing from move two, then they jump to move seven. And the guy played, I mean, the girl played uh, rook d4. I was shocked. I said, like, wow, why did they have to construct position within position? There's a, some kind of a puzzle position that, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, very nice the puzzle, you know, even if uh, you are good in chess, you are a grandmaster, even world champion. I am not so sure if, if uh, you show this to Karpov, he will say like, well, uh, I mean, he will try many things here. Mm -hmm. Many things, you know, even, uh, well, let me show you, the engine will not help. I mean, uh, you... Uh, you, you go, you, you put this position and uh, because he uh, tries to give you it tries to give you better uh, moves uh, for instance it tries to give you queen f6 but okay if you play rook h4 then he tries to sacrifice and only now rook ch7 is only move which i uh, didn't uh, find by the engine uh, help but uh, i had to double check it with the engine that it is not uh, wrong and now once again okay this is best move and now uh, i mean how do you understand i I said, like, why he has to play king g7? Actually, in this position, knowing what happened on move seven, I was trying to play king g7 at once, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know. The guy plays rook e4, for instance. But, uh, <laughs> immediate king g7. I think that, also, that, uh, that's too bad, yeah. because I think they mess it up at the end. Uh, up until th then, I think the chess in were OK. You know. To some extent, okay, if you accept certain things, yeah, I mean, they really botched up uh, this thing with the Germans. They made a bargaining uh, uh, component uh, out of the Germans. You know, a German is just like you uh, 
certain time is past uh, five hours, whatever, the arbiter comes and just gives uh, you yeah. know, an envelope. You mean to, the to... thing, uh, not uh, that scene in the last episode, you think the, the thing in the Mexico with the kids? Uh, no, in two, two, two times, also with Borgov. I mean, Borgov yeah. obviously went for an adjournment uh, on the move 35, 35th, on the 35th move out of Patrick Wolf's game with uh, Ivanchuk. It was too early. But this game, for instance, it could be really adjourned. We don't know. I mean, they may reach this position by maneuvering. Uh, hold, yeah. How many uh, positions? I don't think... More than 15 position, 15 moves can be played in this game to reach to this kind of a position. Because... No, here it's, it could be a lot of moves because you understand that the bishop went to c6, but the other one, since it is from a known game, and uh, I, I mean, I don't know why. Uh, and okay, the, the main point is just this bargaining about, uh, I mean, not only move 35, because we know the game and the I mean, immediately people realized that uh, I learned it last uh, last week already that uh, it's Ivanchuk uh, Wolf, and then it is uh, move uh, 35. But uh, here also, Bor uh, okay, this, this game goes into the adjournment. They analyze this adjournment, for instance, with doors open. Maybe it is acceptable because, you know, uh, the problem for uh, uh, movie makers and chess, there are no talking in chess. And for the amateur eye or the guy who never knows, just the guy, unless you, you go into this banter. You know, there, there was a lot of banter, except uh, except for the staring in the, in the eyes in the movies, there was a lot of banter in the games. But you cannot play there. And you're over after three, four moves, you know. I'm not talking about the games you played with the janitor in the orphanage. I'm talking about the games in the first tournament. But and okay, later. the part with the janitor is especially interesting because uh, Bruce Pandolfini, whom I met in uh, Joel Benjamin's birthday party when I played in New York Open, you know, back in time, uh, he's a he's the guy probably who made most money uh, from chess by teaching, and he was the first and for a while the most important teacher in the United States of America, especially around the rich circles uh, around the New York area. Now, uh, this is the way he teaches chess. It's really very interesting. You know, he starts with uh, the board and the pieces. Somehow you have to know, like Capablanca, maybe you watch, like whatever, she has some talent. You know, she's a, a combination of uh, Fisher and Capablanca, let's say. But then comes this part that you, you know, she has to learn the checkmate, so she was uh, subject to fool's mate uh, okay. with Queen okay. H5. So I'm queen. just gonna uh, uh, stop you here for a second. Can you just uh, stop sharing screen because I think we're done with the game. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I stop, yeah. Okay, okay so we that, can go uh, back that... to our Zoom and see each other in the Zoom, hopefully. Okay, yeah. I see you. You see me, but uh, on the... Uh, oh, I see okay. the library. Yeah. And I can turn on. Yeah, I see Katyusha from the. Yeah. Katyusha looks like, uh, I don't know, spooky. <laughs> you know, she's you appearing at the. Hold on. Sure. Because I had to re readjust things for the stream while we were talking. Now we can continue talking about uh, the. Yeah, the yeah let's talk to finalize it. You know, I mean, some of the. Uh, chess uh, scenes are uh, okay, acceptable, but uh, even there, you know, many times, okay, they because they have to really the most important thing of chess. If I would watch this, you make a move and then you look at the eyes of your opponent. Yeah, you know, speaking yeah. of the devil, I have watched uh, some blitz uh, game just uh, yesterday night. I don't know how I ended up there, but this is uh, Nihal Sarin. But maybe you know because it's uh, the the chess guy they consulted were uh, Bruce Pandolfini and uh, Gary Kasparov. And when you see Gary Kasparov when he focuses on the board, maybe she was trying to turn into Gary Kasparov. Like no, but it's even worse. But I watched yeah, uh, you and know, the, game, the the eyes and so it, on. It's a blitz game between Zubov and Sarin, and Sarin was really like uh, as beautiful as Beth Harmon by the. 
Diminar, you know? Yeah. He was playing he was playing a move and I was looking like ah now what yeah just give me the give me the move and what, what are you gonna do like now? And yeah. that really uh, a little bit more uh, Zubov was trained to win, but at that uh, he he ran into some tactic. And I happen to know Zubov. I played him when he was a kid. Uh, the guy with the really very clean be- behavior over the board. It's a little bit exaggerated and just like many things like uh, whatever, you know, there is an abusive part in this book. You know, you look like this uh, to someone like, I don't know, me or somebody else. Uh, I will just call the arbiter and I will say, like, this idiot is looking me always in the eye. Like, like, I, like, yeah, I mean, the, just this is really ugly. Or I will, I will tell him something which will be better than these banter episodes in the movie. You know, I, I mean, uh, but still, chess parts, uh, we have to really accept it because uh, it's part of the cinema. Definitely, they have. To, they need to create the, the cinema needs to create drama. TV needs to create drama. Uh, you know, they softened up. Otherwise, uh, you know, many people wouldn't have understood. But and, uh, and for instance, even though, this even part. though I, I am a little bit uh, against uh, the, the 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 Hollywood kind of stuff and the things they promote, and you know, feminist and patriarchy away, and uh, down with the patriarchy and. Uh, the Russians, we need to beat the Russians and the Americans. Look, I will need... give you a very important thing. You just uh, really underlined a very important... Do you remember the uh, food in the American flight? Oh, American in flight. The, in the series. Uh, in, in, in the series. Or me, you mean the plastic things and stuff and the drinks? Yeah, very good. Okay, now, now nobody gives such food when you fly. But there, they had really rich uh, food. And well, how about Aeroflot flight? No food? Not even, not even drinks. So the CIA character, you know, had to get something out of his flask, mm-hmm. whatever he added to his uh, juice. Yeah. Yeah. Then, in some very controversial way, during a breakfast in Moscow, she's uh, spreading butter and caviar, whatever, and comes an underage kid, just like Macaulay Culkin, and some bucket, you know, with ice, and just, he says like vodka. <laughs> I mean, it's the, it's the breakfast time, you know. This is one of the, I mean, the last episode was completely crazy. It was like, I mean, Rambo was uh, more humanistic, you know, really. Yeah. Uh, you know, really. I mean, uh, why the kids should be underage, uh, you know, uh, working as a wait- waiter in this uh, in this restaurant? And why people has to, they have to consume vodka <laughs> at breakfast tables when you start? Yeah. Your caviar and, and vodka you drink it at breakfast. And she says no, no. And still behind her, there's two people, you know, they are drinking. Actually, I've seen people uh, very early in the morning, even in an airport, uh, drinking some stuff. But okay, but this is there was nobody like this underage kid, uh, yeah. like yeah. trying to push them to drink vodka. I mean, this yeah. was something, you know. That, really. That's too much. I mean, yeah. certain things. In the end, I think it's good. Uh, the show is good for popularizing chess, and uh, you know the, the you know. No, we will no, one day we will play over the port, and I will look at your eyes like. I will know. look like you. <laughs> you know, the screen is really terrible. You know, terrible. I mean, <laughs> and now, what? let me take your orders. You know, yeah. what, uh, sir? What? Uh, yeah, <laughs> play a move. <laughs> okay, now Vodka? I have to go because I have to catch this and IBM TV stuff. And, uh, you know, ironically, mm-hmm. there is Tkachev in the show, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, he was one of the guys who, from Ryumi Rui, to Andrei Sokolov or whatever, mm-hmm. he had some okay. good drinking abilities. Okay, and we so, were all okay so before you go, and mm-hmm. before, I know that you're very busy. Thank you very much for... Uh, no, I thank you, Daniel. You are doing great job for these teams and for this stream. And you are the real streamer. You know, you don't uh, do this. I mean, most of this, I already said, most of the streamers, you know, they play something and their head is down. They mm-hmm. cannot put two sentences in uh, in mm-hmm. English or in any language in their native mother tongues, you know, still. And that they and people watch them, which I don't really understand. But it's a joy, you know, and with the okay. library and everything with your uh, knowledge. Okay.
Okay, so I'm gonna raid somebody. That's what you do on Twitch. Uh, bring your viewers and text everybody in the chat. Um, Nazi says, I feel the Queen's Gambit exaggerated the correlation between brilliance in chess and madness. Well, it depends. <laughs> there, there are things, you know, if female walks through the park and wants to join the players, what would happen? Depends. Which park, which lady? <laughs> You know, um, definitely not pushing the square park. You know, you know, also when you go to the basement, that you got the janitor there. Yeah. I mean, instead of learning chess, you will, uh, like you will I, learn I, more things. Yeah, yeah. You happen to pick up that good janitor, you know. <laughs> well, I think I think they messed up here because they portrayed him like a father figure, and they want to kill the patriarchy. They messed up there, you know. But he was, you know, very shortly in the movie, you know. You know, because yeah, he had, a, he had an image. Yeah, the, I mean, he now even know the, his name, yeah, even the character's name, Scheibel. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's a French name, by the way. No, it's Scheibel, okay. No. So uh, I'm seeing the the streamers, and I decided this time to uh, uh, to rate uh, our viewers to uh, National Master Jesse Cohen, uh, and he's a very uh, cool guy with um, lots of. Uh, Joking around and uh, bantering and stuff. That's why I like him. So I'm gonna send my viewers to him. So thanks everybody for coming. Thanks uh, Suat and Andrea for making this event. And uh, see you later. Maybe I'm gonna stream and uh, also. Okay. So let's do that and just wait for okay. the raid to happen. Okay, I have to switch to the other one, uh, Daniel, and uh, we uh, keep in touch. Yeah. And. and uh, uh, Hopefully I hope make... uh, we don't need a rescue operation for you from uh, that place, you know. Uh huh. Okay. okay <laughs> All right. Start. Okay, All the start. best. Bye. Bye bye. Let me just uh, end uh, the Zoom. Okay. Yeah, thank thank you so much, Sweat. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. end of the of the deal because they capture last and it usually improves the positioning of the piece that they recaptured with um and so here i might have played knight f4 but i'm curious to see here take here because the thing is that you have the thing is you have all these super active pieces right the knight the queen the bishop and then they get you know almost all of them get traded off and i feel like uh white's advantage almost goes away but then you do have knight c7 which forks the rook in the e6 and that's nice. And then, yeah. And then this is just a nice position for you. You're up a pawn. You have better uh, situation here. You have double attack with the bishop on e7, the rook on d6. That, I that isolated pawn d6 is going to be such a problem for black. And uh, actually, the only thing I might have disagreed with is this. Uh, I don't know if I'd let his rooks come crashing in. There's no real reason for it. Check here. Are we going to just like, go and do our own thing now? Um, I mean, in terms of having lunch, yes. I mean, I would appreciate it. I mean, you don't have to at this point because the term, you know, once your round is over. But um, yeah, if your game is over, you can you can take a break. Obviously, get some lunch. Like I said, go stretch. You know, don't just you know we don't want to just be sitting for you know six straight hours. Uh, so yeah, definitely take a break. But I mean, I, I'm I'm not going anywhere. I will be here just munching on uh, my lunch is just basically guacamole and rice. Well. Not guacamole, it's kind of a kind of an avocado salad, I suppose. Back at twelve thirty, Jesse? What's the next? The next round will be twelve thirty on the dot.